Hi, welcome to Mangalore University BCA First Semester C Programming Lab Part A Program 2. So the Program 2 here, we have to write a program to find the greatest of three numbers using nested if statement. We are going to use a nested if statement to find the greatest of three numbers. What do you mean by nested if? Nested if means one if condition inside the other. So there we use else if ladder. Here we are going to use a nested if. So if statement one inside the other. This is what we call it as nested if statement. So every if statement most of the time if it is having an else statement you have to match it with the corresponding else statement also. So you can see the nesting. This is the inner loop the, or you can say this is if 1 means this is if 2 and this is if else 3. Like this we have 3 levels of nesting. So but we are going to use only 2 levels of nesting we can see. So, this is an example. If i is equal to 10, if j less than 20, a is equal to b. So this is one if, this is the other if. This is the next if like this it goes on. You can try, use this nested if statement to find the greatest of three numbers. This is the coding. So as usual, we will just say include sudio.h and conio.h and in my main coding, I am declaring all the variables. I need three variables here. If three numbers A, B, C and the large. Now, we first read all the three numbers. Say, I am going to say 10, 5 and 7 means then it will just read the three numbers using scanf. So, next part is an if. Nested if I said, no, this is the nested if you see. One if inside the other. Inside the else statement also, there is the if statement. Use it carefully. This is your first if and else. Inside this if and else, we have one more if and here we have if and else. So, what we try to do here, first we check whether A is greater than B. So, that is whether 10 is greater than 5, there are two chances. It can be either yes or no. Here, 10 is greater than 5. If 10, the condition is true, then if statement will be executed. Then I will check A and C. So, what is A? 10. So, I will say whether 10 is greater than 7. Is it greater than 7? 10 is greater than 7? Here also two chances are there. Yes and no. So, is it yes? If it is yes, we say large is equal to 10. Yes, our largest is equal to 10. So, it is working fine if A is larger. Now, consider the other case. Let me take three more values. There is A, B, C. Okay. What are the values you can have? We can say B is greater. So, this is 7 and this is going to be some value. So, we, we start with the same thing. We compare A and B. So, whether 7 is greater than 10. Yes or no? No. So, we will come to this else part. If the condition is not true, we come to this else part and we compare B is greater than C. So, what is B? 10 and C is 5. So, whether 10 is greater than 5? Yes or no? Yes. If B is greater than C, we say large is equal to B. So, I say large is equal to B. If both these conditions are not satisfied, then we will come to this else part and we say large is equal to C. Let us try that also. We say A, B, C and A is equal to say 5, 7 and 10. We start comparing these two. Is it true? No. Then we compare these two. 7 is greater than 10. No. Then we say large is equal to 10. Like this we just work on our code. So this coding can be done by using a nested if statement. Consider this example. Enter three numbers. 34, 23, 12. 
So the largest is 34. That is A is larger. Consider this A, B, C. B is larger. The largest of three numbers is 34. 12, 23, 34. C is larger. So here there are three basic conditions. A, either A can be larger, B can be the greater number or the C. So whenever you execute this particular program, you have to try for all the three combinations. Wish you a happy coding.